Hey fellas, okay, so I'm just gonna show you what this olive olive uh, looks like from SMS. This is the torso from the Moss Beta kit that I'm building. So, um, it's gonna be red in there. I'm just gonna brush paint that in there. But the bulk of this is gonna be a, if I show you the box art, um, you can see that it's more, like, it's like a real bluey, sort of a green color okay it's just the way it's been painted it looks blue but um you go to i oh know you can't see it but on the box there you can see it's like a green a very pale green color so we're gonna uh, mix that up a little bit so what i'll be using i'll be highlighting with another color that i don't have um like a mid-tone from sms but i will be using to highlight the to get to make the rest of the armor pop um, I will be using the duck egg green so as an ultimate highlight and then the olive green or olive and then in the middle I'll be, I'll be using a uh, Russian highlight which is from uh, from MIG so I'm also going to show that you know, it, these are very compatible with other paints not as in mixing wise but spraying on top of each other and below each other um, you know, you, you're not going to have any problems with that so we've already got the um, airbrush loaded up and I've already pre-thinned it. All right, so it's in there. All right, so we've got that. Air's ready to go. Just have a quick check. That comes out. Yep, and there it goes. So all we're going to do is we're just going to go all over this. Not really worried about too much about the parts going to be red, so we just leave that. A bit of overspray is not going to hurt it. And you can see, even being light, like it's being thinned down quite a fair bit. The coverage is really, really nice. It's a nice, smooth finish. Okay, so if I can just get this in shot for you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is just... Um, Just to give the shaded areas or the recessed areas something I'm covering the whole whole model here just so the recessed areas have shadow. Okay, so the the entire all this armor isn't gonna be this colour. Alright, so I'm just sort of like I don't want it to go black. If I think black's just, I think it's too strong to use as a, a base color. Like I like painting my models light. That like gives a bit more pop. All right, so being fairly quick here. All right, yep. so being fairly quick here, we've just got the the base color down. All right, so I'm just going to quickly clean out this airbrush, and I will also be changing to another gun. So just bear with me, I'll be back in a second. We've got a mid mid color, or the realistically the base color, which is going to be a Russian highlight. Um, it's by MIG. And we've also I've already put some thinners in here by Meng. It's just I don't have the AK or the sorry. Got the thinners in here by Meng, just to thin out the paint a little bit. And I've also got this, so I'm gonna give it a quick shake. And then chuck this in here. I think it's a, it's a 0.4 needle in this one. Um, it's one of the airbrushes that I bought off Peter Knight uh, a while back. You've probably seen the review that I'd done of the orange one on my channel. So same gun, just it's a uh, just a red one. I do have uh, needles for this thing. So all right, so we've got a little bit thinned down in the cup here, and all we're going to do is just going to spray.
Now, if you watch most of my videos now, um, there's quite a few videos using this technique. It's pretty much how I paint these days. It just Uh, just don't let anyone tell you that what you're doing is wrong because that's just take the fun out of it. Alright, so I think that should be enough for this, uh, this acrylic layer of uh, Russian highlight. Alright, so let's see how there's like dark, especially in the recesses. I haven't really sprayed um, any of the highlight in the cracks, nooks and crannies. That's that. Just gonna let that dry for a few minutes before we um, add on the last layer of, of the highlight. And if you want to dry brush it after that, I mean, you're more than welcome to, but I think I probably will um, towards the end. Alright, guys, so for the final highlight, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go this duck egg green from SMS. Once again, I've already put some. Uh, tiny little amount of the thinners in there probably go a little bit more not much more because we're not going to be using much paint imagine how much paint we actually be putting on there for the highlight not much at all it's not going to be a full coverage all right so i'm going to give it a shake and and i love these caps how they got that anti anti spill sort of cone that's some of the caps so when you put it back on the bottle everything runs back down in it's a really nice design that all right so so that's all we're putting in guys it's like very little bit i want this very thin yeah you can see how easy the bubbles are coming up like that all right so all we can do is take the cane off the cap and check the spray on your finger What we're doing is just light, just brightening it up. See, like so. See the distance from the back. There's the back. That's the front. So in the front, you just want to just be really random. Like don't you don't want to be painting like a, a neat. Um, like shape in the middle, it's all just squiggly, some bits stronger, some bits lighter, some bits darker. So um yeah, especially these shoulder pads here. Just work on the top sections mainly, just sort of spray down from the top. And you don't really once again just do it the same here. Yeah, we're really just on the outside corners because you're trying to cause a shadow from the helmet when the helmet goes back on. You can see the four points there that I've just sort of put down. And on the front here, give it a little bit. I mean, you can even just spray it so the air goes across the top and then just sort of, so it's a hard edge without spraying the front. 
And just not much down here because the arms will be causing a shadow. So kind of put a little bit in there. Around the front here. Don't have to get any overspray in this part because that's going to be all painted red. So just yeah. Might spray a little bit in there a bit more. Just missed it in there. Okay, from here, if you want to go lighter, um, you can. It's it's entirely up to you how bright you go. Um, yeah, just think about how you want the model to finally look, and then put that in con into consideration of how bright you actually paint the models. If you paint it dark, and you start putting your uh, weathering materials down, it's going to come out to be a really it's going to be a really dark model. So that's it guys, that's just showing you that you can spray SMS paints over or under other colours. Alright, so that's that little quick video. But I mean, definitely stay tuned guys, follow me on my Facebook page on Outback Mini Models um, just to see all the uh, photos from this build, because I'm not actually doing a video build on this particular model. but. Yeah, I'll put the link down below in the description of the Facebook page to follow the uh, photo. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, big thanks to Scotty and the team at SMS for uh, sending out these paints for me to review, to show you guys, and to let you guys know what I think. I mean, I love these paints so far. I can't really say anything bad about it. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a thumbs up. Give it a like. If you're not subscribed to this channel, hit the sub button and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of any new videos. Thanks for watching guys, have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Catch up, bye.